Hey, it's Dr. Trish Lee with another answer to your neurofeedback questions. Today's question is, how do I know if neurofeedback will work for me? Great question. Well, in one of the previous videos on how we know if neurofeedback is right for a person, it also kind of answers this question, but I'm going to elaborate on it in this video. So if you are suffering from challenges that you have researched and you figure it out, it's actually coming from your brain functioning, then neurofeedback really can't help but work for you. Because if your brain's performance is not up to par, when neurofeedback brings it better and closer to par, hopefully better than par, then your symptoms reduce and you feel and perform better. And in that last video, we talked about getting a QEEG brain wrap so that you know specifically if neurofeedback is right for you. That is also how you know if neurofeedback will work for you. So it goes like this. You have your QEEG brain map acquired. You're able to see how many areas of your brain are dysregulated neurologically. So what that means is you're able to see if any area of your brain is performing one, two, or three levels too high or too low of a magnitude of any of the processing speeds that your brain needs to use. So it's fairly complex and the QEEG brain map gleans a ton of information for your provider who should share not all but most of that information with you. The brain map also shows how the brain areas are communicating with each other and the brain map can show you if there is enough communication, if there's too much or too little, and if the timing and communication between brain areas is impacted, whether the timing is too slow or too fast. All of that can show you if any area of your brain needs to perform better and then if they, all the areas could be communicating better between and amongst each other. So how do you know if neurofeedback is going to work? Well, truly there's three factors that can really tell you if it's going to be a good fit for you after your brain map. Factor number one is what I just talked about. When you have your brain map, you will see how many areas of your brain are impacted. So when I was younger and more of a novice, I thought the less areas impacted meant the easier it would be to help a person regulate their brain function and feel and perform better. Now, after helping hundreds, thousands of people, then now I know the more involved a brain map is, the more areas that are impacted actually can make it so that it's faster or quicker for a person to respond to the training. And the reason being is the brain map takes the acquires information for 21 areas of your brain. So if 17 of those areas are impacted and then we improve the way that 17 areas of your brain are functioning, very quickly you'll feel better because many areas are a small degree better. So you can start to feel relief from the symptoms. So factor number one is how many areas are involved. And sometimes the less the better, but many times if you have many areas of your brain, you're going to feel a big difference after just a few sessions. Factor number two is the magnitude or the degree that any area of the brain is off from optimal functioning. So like I told you, most mapping systems will show if there's one, two, or three levels of difference in brain performance either in the high or the low direction. So what that means is if any area of your brain is three degrees off from what it should be doing, as we regulate that area back towards optimal functioning, you're going to feel better. So if your brain has quite a way to go or to move in the positive direction, as we start moving you in that direction, neurofeedback is going to work for you. Now, factor number three, usually you can't figure it out until you're in care with a qualified provider, but that provider on session number one should have a sense how your brain is going to respond to training. So most people are middle of the road trainers or their brains respond in a very typical fashion. Then there are strong trainers or those who have a strong response to training. Their brain moves very quickly. 
Others might have a weaker response to training. If you have a medium to fast response to training, then you can anticipate to have typical or above average gains from neurofeedback therapy when you engage in it. And that can be seen on the training graphs that a high quality neurofeedback system will provide the provider. They're able to analyze that graph within every session to see the changes that have happened within that half hour session or across sessions to be able to see if you're moving in the right direction towards the goals that you've set with your provider. So the answer to the question, how do I know if neurofeedback will work for me, is threefold. You know by your QEG brain map how many areas of your brain are impacted and how far off from optimal performance or functioning those areas are. Then you lastly know by how fast your brain responds to the training. Those three factors should let you know how you can take your brain from what it's doing right now and moving it into a much better performance mode so that you feel and perform better. Okay, I hope that answers your question and don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel below so that I can get you more answers to your neurofeedback questions so you can control your brain before it controls you. Thanks.